So mom, what is your attitude? You know, I had to look at this myself at one point, many points in my life. So what I'm asking you is, Mom, do you have an attitude of gratitude? And I want to culture that in you today or starting from this day forward. So choosing an attitude of gratitude and choosing that as a lifestyle, it's not that easy. It's such a good thing, and yet we complain so much. We have a discontented attitude and spirit in us, and we just sabotage all our best efforts with our family. You might be doing all the right things, cooking the right food, making like super good things for your kids that your kids love, and homeschooling them, doing all the things, or maybe send them to school and do a good job with that, and dealing with them when they come home. What, whatever it is, what is sabotaging your effort? Is it is it your complaining spirit? Sometimes we don't even realize we're complaining because we justify our complaints. We say it's okay. And we say, well, I, I'm complaining because we don't say it like that. We don't say, well, I'm complaining because we say, I have this attitude because of my husband. My husband, he's, he's the one that's for, to blame for all this. No, we can't do that. We have to look at it this way. Psalm 118, 24 says, This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And you probably started off this year with great plans. Now, when I'm recording this, this is November. And so maybe I'm beginning, or I should be thinking of next year and what my word is. Each year for like at least 10 years, I've chosen a word. And partly through the year, I forget what that word was. And I forget what my intentions were at the beginning of the year. And, you know, it just, everything falls by the wayside, including my attitude, maybe. So that's what I want you to look at. Revisit the direction that you are going, even if it's at the end of the year, when this video is going to come out or getting near the end of the year. So what I want to encourage you to do is every few months, Go over your one word and the things that you put together at the beginning of the year and see where you're going so you keep tuned in with your attitude of gratitude. This is not just something that we think about in November when I, I tend to put all my gratitude posts up in November because we're thinking of Thanksgiving. And so we're, oh, we better have this cultured attitude of gratitude because Thanksgiving is coming and we have to be grateful. So likely you are like me you're responding in the moment to the things that happen and it's not your kids if your kids have a bad attitude you don't have to have a bad attitude but sometimes we can have a bad attitude and we can affect the attitude our kids have because they're like mirrors so for me I had seven mirrors looking back at me and reflecting whatever it was that I was giving off so what kind of aroma are you giving off? Are you giving off an attitude of gratitude aroma or not? The attitude of gratitude is the recipe for grace-filled living. You might have heard me talk about that. I like to have things grace-filled or joy-filled, but for me it's grace-filled because I sure don't deserve all this. So an attitude of gratitude? Are you kidding me? You know, we can be so caught into our bad attitudes that um, we just can't get on board with having a good attitude. When my kids were little, I do not remember the video, but there was a video that demonstrated having um, having a good attitude. And it was a Christian video, I can't remember what it was, but they called it your altitude. So do you have, what is your altitude of gratitude? Is it way down here or way up here? I can get up in the morning, write out my things I'm grateful for, and by partway through the day or as soon as my quiet time is done, I can forget to have an attitude of gratitude. I can have that happen very quickly. Is that you too? And I can have, or I did have, whiny, cranky toddlers or a hormonal teenager that very quickly pushes 
into action. All the it, it's like you know when you line up dominoes and then they all collapse, and it can be just like that. It's a domino effect, and just as a bad attitude can have a domino effect, a good attitude can have a domino effect, and everybody catches it. And so, have you ever made a gratitude journal? Okay, that's what I want you to do. I want you to get my gratitude journal wherever it ends up in the different places I put this video and I want you to start doing it. I have Bible verses that you can use with it. I have new ones that came out. I expanded the gratitude journal because I thought it was so important. Kept the price the same. So you can do this and do a little, little study. Just a simple one that you write out the verse or two for that day for gratitude and you you um, write what what's happening in the verse and what how it applies to you write out a little prayer about it and it's just uh, other printables in there that will encourage you to be have an attitude of gratitude if you click on the link it'll take you to a page that tells you more about it and so I just want to encourage you to have that. So an attitude of gratitude, what is your attitude? Is it one of gratitude or if it one, is it one that reeks of a bad attitude? Reek is something that smells bad. Do you kind of smell to the people around you um, so that they like are walking on pins and needles and don't want to be near you and just are glad when they have a day when you're not there with them and yet they love you so much? So, when you have an attitude of gratitude, it keeps you from an attitude of bitterness. And it helps you appreciate the kids, even though one of them or more are screaming. And the third thing, it gives you a sense of gratefulness to God for all that he's done. And you can say, you can say great is thy faithfulness. Like it says in Lamentations 3.23. If, number four, it provides you with the peace that passes all understanding over your future and present difficulties. That's from Philippians 4.7. That's not quoted. I meant the thought is from that. So, if you get the gratitude, uh, the gratitude journaling workbook, it's a, it's a lifestyle of gratitude. It's a journaling workbook that will encourage you to draw closer to Jesus. And wouldn't you love that? And you will learn so much from it. Now, if you want to watch more on um, gratitude, I have my testimony of when that transformation happened to me. And you can find it in one of the videos to whichever side it ends up on. I am not going to be able to guess. So thank you for joining me and just have a day full of gratitude.